So this is Faye, going 250 kilometers an hour. Spoiler, she's low-key freaking out. So buckle up, because you're in the passenger seat for every turn, where speed meets a camera and fear meets, well, questionable life choices. Hey, good morning. So we are at the Nürburgring and this is a racetrack in Germany and I love this place. So I was here last year and the year before and we even went on track as well. It's different. My video is different. I'm trying out the Osmo Pocket. I've never tried it before. So you're the first that can tell me if you like it or not. It's tracking me. <laughs> As you can see, I've got the little microphone, so my audio should be really, really good. I hope. <laughs> I'm forgetting a very important thing. Ta-da! My neighbor is laughing at me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go inside, now I'm embarrassed. <laughs> my neighbor is a prick, that's all right. So I think I forgot to tell you that I'm here with a GT3 RS and I've shot this car in Austria a couple months ago. We have the GT3 RS here behind me and the mountains on the other side. The trip I did to Austria was insane. It started snowing, it started raining, it was the perfect conditions. So we're back with the exact same car, but now putting it a little bit more to action on the racetrack. Okay, so it's a couple hours later than I last spoke to you and that's because it started raining so we couldn't get on track or well, I went on track and it was super slippery. We even understeered one corner. There we go. But we just have to be a little bit more careful. But. under my armpits <laughs> <laughs> before we continue with the video i thought it'd be fun to share a little bit of backstory as to how i actually got into cars so for me photography all started because of cars at around age 13 14 i would go to events with my friends take photos of the cars with my phone and eventually i got my canon 200d and that's when it got serious and back then at that age i could only dream of actually photographing all of these cars going to these events and actually having the opportunity to really give my own touch to the photos so this video is sort of a little love letter to myself i'm just having so much fun with it and i know i'm gonna look back into this video 10 in 10 years from now and i'm gonna love every single second of it enjoy the rest of this video just know when i was editing it i was editing it with a massive smile on my face the whole time Look how big the 28 to 70 is, f2.8. Such a big lens. Okay, for reference, the lens is as big as my head. <laughs> what? Hello, I'm good, how are you? <laughs> Look at all those 
Ouch, chickens! Hi. Hi. I just want to take a moment to thank our sponsor of today's video, which is Motion Array. So if you haven't already noticed, that deep manly voice at the start of my video was obviously not my voice. So this is Faye. It was all thanks to the new voiceover generator from Motion Array. It converts text into speech and that is exactly what I did at the start of this video. I feel like for me it makes it possible to tell my story in a completely different way from a new perspective and it is fun to switch it up. So in a library you can choose out of a bunch of different voices and you can also filter by a male or a female voice. Then to make my life and your life a whole lot easier, we can also sort through by category. So for my voiceover, I was looking for a more commercial type of voiceover. So that's how I found the voice I used for this video. And there are also a bunch of customizable settings that you can play around with. So for example, I adjusted the speed of how fast my voice was talking, but also the emotion. I can choose from angry, optimistic, and that's the one I went for for my voice. So I typed in what I wanted to say, and then I just downloaded the voice and added it to my timeline in my editing. And that's how easy it is. And especially for the world of commercials or documentaries, I feel like this is such a groundbreaking new feature. So I really want to thank Motion Array for sponsoring this video. And if you want to try it out, then head on to motionarray.com. Okay, back to racing. I'm gonna take my shoes off. And I like taking my shoes off because I feel like I've got more to drink. This is the rain is quite hard from the pain in the yeah. to 75 minutes. Let's go. Okay, we are back and we're gonna do a round two. But this time the track is dry, so I don't think it's gonna be wet, so we can go a little bit faster. <laughs> At this moment, Faye's breakfast decided to take a detour. Ja, um ein bisschen das zu machen. Versuchen wir es morgen mal.
Okay, it is now a bit later in the day. It's seven o'clock and the sun is gonna set in 30 minutes. And yes, of course, I came here to enjoy the track day, but I also wanna take some photos. So I found a really, really cool photo location here that we're gonna go to right now. Looking at beautiful cars all day made me so excited to shoot. So I've got my camera ready. But yeah, that's my setup. Let's start shooting. This spot in the tunnel, and I think it's gonna look so cool. So let's get into it. I'm stuck. Oh, what the fuck? My ears. Such a cool location, especially because the light is coming from above. Okay, so it is now nearly 7.30 and the sun is about to set. So we have a really beautiful sunset still, but I'm so incredibly happy with the photos in the tunnel. I feel like there's something I haven't really shot before. Switch to the 50 mil. have come to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I know this was a different one. It was a lot of adrenaline, a lot of sweat, a lot of screaming, but I loved every second of it. All of the photos you've seen in this video are edited using my Lightroom presets. Uh, if you wanna check it out, click on the link in my description. You can download it there. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and I also hope to see you at my next one. Okay, bye-bye.